Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia with Raindrop Lila and today for Trashy Tuesday I decided to use some bottle caps to make some little pendants or little like little charms for our journals. Okay so what I basically did was I grabbed one of these uh, bottle caps and I'm gonna glue some fabric to the cap and um, I'm going to use some of my Americana Digitals and what I did was I sized these down so I printed nine to a page so I can get this really tiny, tiny size which is what I did right here. And so some of them, what I ended up doing is I, I really like the way they look cut out and then I just used some book page for the background. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna wanna start out with, of course, some bottle caps, some fabric. You're gonna want a dictionary page or some kind of book print, and I recommend going with some really small print if you can, because I think that will look better. And then um, you want some kind of image. So I use these ones from my Americana collection and let's see I also use some of my distress ink this is the walnut color I'm also going to be using an owl to poke a hole through the top so you might want to use this you might want to maybe even use a if you don't have an owl you might want to use a thumb tack you can use that too I'm using these to put this little um, piece at the top so I can string it, okay? So you don't need these. You can also use just some kind of twine to tie it up. And then I have my fabric scissors. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm also using um, my Fabric Fix glue, okay? So first thing, I'm gonna grab my piece of fabric and I want to cut kind of in a circle. You don't have to, but you can also do a square because um, we're just gonna glue it all around and kind of fold it up inside. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some glue to the cap. And then I'm gonna add some glue on the sides also. And then I'm just gonna press it down. And then I'm gonna add glue on the inside of the bottle cap. And just press it down. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue in here. Okay, I'm gonna let, set that aside to dry a bit. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use some of my dictionary page. I'm actually gonna draw around one of the bottle caps so I can have an idea what size to cut it to. And since we're actually tracing around the bottle cap, you're gonna remember that the inside is gonna be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to want to cut the circle just a little bit smaller. Okay, and I'm gonna grab some ink and now I'm gonna ink this. Okay, and then this just goes inside and see how it's still a little bit big. I just kind of push it in because I don't mind the wrinkled up edges. I think it kind of gives it a bit of character. And so 
And you're just going to push it straight in. Okay, and now I want to choose the one that I want to use. I like her. I think I want to cut her out. And these are super, super tiny. So, um, but I love little tiny pieces to add to my journals like this. I think they're so cute. Okay, now I'm going to. I want to trim a little bit more of her off. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there she is. Okay, so now I want to make sure that the writing is going in the same direction and it's not upside down or sideways as I set her there. So. Okay, so I just glued her down. Now I want to add um, a way to attach this right to the journal. So I'm going to use my owl to poke a hole in here. And honestly, I think it might be kind of hard to do with a thumbtack. You're probably going to want to use an owl for this. Okay, so I've poked the hole. And now, this is kind of weird, I just noticed I, one of those pieces were in there. Like, really? I don't even know how it got in there. Okay, so I'm going to just open this up and poke it through here. Okay, so there it is. I think they are so cute. They actually, I think they came out even cuter than I expected. And I love the way they turned out. Oh, on the back of some, you can actually use a word if you want. I did that only on this one, but let me show you guys. I also printed some of my flashcard words. And these ones have different words like people and emotions. And so I'll link everything I use below if you guys want to go check that, them out um, from my Etsy shop. But like I have timeless. I think that one's a really great word. Let's see what else. Amazing, calm, collected, blissful. Confident. What else would work really well? I have strong, authentic, resilient, reliable. I think those would all work with these images. I think they would be great. So basically, you can just write. Um, I just cut one of these out. I I think I mentioned I printed nine of them to the page so that I get them in a really tiny size so that they could fit on these bottle caps, right? And you might even like add them like this to the bottom. Like, isn't that cute? Let's see, or this one is timeless like that. And I was also going to mention that this one I actually use some of this paper, the party streamers, for it. I thought I'd try that one out too. And, but I do love the um, fabric. Actually, I love them all. I think they all came out really great. And I think they're so cute. I'm going to show you guys how they would look on one of the journals. You can attach them maybe to the bottom where the strings from the binding come or you can attach them to a little pin 
to one of the pages. I think there's so many options for using these and I think they're so cute. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this little craft with me and I hope you guys go and make some bottle caps and if you do, I'd love to see how your guys' uh, versions turn out. So if you tag me, I would love to see them if you're on Instagram. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.